This is a 2020 Mercedes-Benz Maybach S560 4Matic. Today we're working with our friends at Sears Imported Autos selling beautiful Mercedes-Benz cars and SUVs. Hey folks, I'm Rob. And I'm Nathan. And we are Two, Two Guys, Guys in a Ride. Ride. And say, Nathan, tell the folks what we're taking a look at today. Oh man, today we are taking a look at the 2020 Mercedes-Benz Maybach S560 4Matic. That's right. But say, uh, before we get into that, if you'd like to keep up to date with all the new cars, trucks, and SUVs, and you'd like to know how and understand how to use all the infotainment systems that are built into these, plus you like cool collector cars and uh, collector classic builds, take a moment and hit that subscribe button down below and hit that bell notification up above so you never miss a video. So what do you say, Nate? Let's, Let's go, go for, for a ride. ride. All right, so welcome to the detailed video on the uh, inside of the Maybach here. Um, so window controls right here. So the first one on the top left, if you pull it up, will do your window shades here and here, okay? To go down is the same thing, you just push it. But if you push the same button a second time, you actually get the window controls. Okay, over here I have controls over the uh, passenger side shades and windows. So I can put those up, I can put those down, do the same thing in the window. This one right here is my overhead panoramic roof shade. So I don't have to bother getting out of my seat or doing anything to control that. And then this button is your rear window shade. And they are all auto. There you go. You do have three-person memory setting on the driver's side in the back, and on the passenger side in the back, you have two-person memory setting because the other button has a different function. I'll show that when I get over there. As far as the seats go here, they are power adjustable rear seats. And so you can you know, push this, the, the seat out or back. You can push the back up or, uh, or back. You can adjust your headrest. Now, not only can you take the headrest and make it go up, but you can also make it go forward to meet your head a little bit easier. So if you can see where that is right now, I'll put it backwards, but not down. So now it gives me a little better angle to, uh, to rest my head on. All right, so now on the passenger side of the car in the rear, the one difference is you don't have three person memory setting, but you do have a button here that if you push it and hold, it takes the passenger seat, puts it all the way forward, lays back your seat, extends these awesome, this awesome footrest that comes right up. So it's a one button push and you're sitting up backwards, comfortable. The front seat's been pushed forward so your feet don't hit it. If you wanna further adjust it, you can also then use this button for the extension part here. I can raise my feet more if I want. Okay, I can bring them back a little bit if my feet are a little shorter or extend it. Then of course I can lay my seat back or push my seat forward a little bit or backwards a little bit if I want to adjust that. So, all right, so then putting my footrest down, I can adjust it all the way if I want. And what's kind of cool is the seat, when it, goes, uh, when it goes up, it actually will extend as it goes 
giving you more support and then when it comes back up it kind of tucks itself back under so it fits underneath okay but just uh hugely comfortable seats here and so many ways to adjust them now on top of that these are uh cooled three stage uh, cooled or ventilated and three stage heated on both sides in addition to that this car has uh multi-contour seats and also um massaging seats in the rear that you can activate all right so now one of the interesting things on this car is obviously the passenger side in the rear is meant for the owner this has got the most features on this side so on this side you've got this the beautiful magnolia floating line trim here with the wood and then on this side just to differentiate a little bit between who's riding the car you've got a very different look completely different from the uh, passenger side so you know who owns the car see obviously Rob is on that side and I'm on this side all right now in addition to that you of course have the infotainment screens on both sides okay and all you do is just press that on button there and then you can operate it by touch you can use an app to to run on it okay right now it's locked out so I can't um, I can't change anything on it, but you could do uh, do that on here, and you could adjust your massaging seats from here. You may be able to use your Mercedes-Benz Connect Me app as well. Now, above here, in case you want to check out how you look before you get out of the car, you may have spilled some great poopo on yourself. You do have mirrors that have a beautiful LED strip here and an additional lighting here, just for a little extra vanity. And they are on, of course, on both sides. And then again, just this whole, everything is just leather covered. Up inside of the grab handles, you do have two different lighting controls as well as a microphone. So if I use the, uh, the one closest to the light you see on, that'll actually turn that light on when the doors are closed, on or off. And then the second button that's kind of in the middle, that one actually turns on the LEDs that are back here. So you have two different lighting controls, one for the center lights and one for the um, just the reading light over the top of you. Now, you probably already saw, but you've got, you know, I pointed this out earlier, but I've got to get these three um, Burmeester sound speakers right back here. Um, just an incredible sound, plus the, um, the speakers behind you. All the speakers in the car are backlit this does have the illumination package where you can lighting package where you can you know have different lights if you change the temperature you know the the, the lights around the vents change um, and then you do also have an air vent right in the side of the door right here so not only do you have the center air vents but you have the side air vents as well and then i think we saw this a little bit in the shot i did earlier but the way these back seats are contoured and you can see it's, it's like a cockpit look so in addition to having led lighting you can see how they curve way back in and, and this is part of what gives the seat its ability to to you know recline at such an angle because it really does recline and when you put this thing all the way back it's like sitting in the lazy boy at home it is so comfortable and the bolstering helps to keep you in as the driver's going around corners like rob was when we took the drive just an absolutely incredible interior so this car has what's called four place seating which basically means there's only seats for four people so in the back in the center you have an armrest like you do in the front and man is it chock full of features okay up here you have the other two parts of your auto climate zone okay so back here are all the controls for your climate con uh, control back in the rear and again these are the pull out buttons here push out buttons that you can control the airflow through the vents okay moving back you know, along with a beautiful wood finish here you've got heated and cooled cup holders and this is the button that does it i love how they light up in different colors for the different features and or they can just be off and just be uh, used as normal cup holders you have a fairly deep storage here it's about uh, a little over half of my hand okay and then if i push this it just slides back and you've got a really beautiful uh full wood coverage right here okay now 
This one here is the rear wireless phone charger. So not only can you wirelessly charge in the front, but you can in the rear as well. Okay, now underneath that right here, I'll close that for a minute. You would just pop that open. And on this side, you have another cigar lighter. And then on this side, you have got a 12 volt outlet right here. Okay, moving back to the center armrest right here, if I pull up, you have got dual trays. So if I pull this up, okay, push it over, fold it back, and then I can swivel it out, and it clicks into place. You have a very nice storage area right here. And then a little uh, stop right here to help things from sliding off into your lap. And both sides are exactly the same. Okay, continuing on in the center console, you have an HDMI connection for your infotainment screens. And then of course, dual USB outlets. And then down here, you have a household outlet. Now, as if that wasn't enough, I don't know if you notice this, but even your seat belts are lit. So you can see where the receptacle is. <laughs> I love it. Okay, back here, I may go to sleep leaning back like this. Back here is your refrigerator. Okay, so you pull this open and you have two different stages of cooling. And if I pull this open here, You've got room for your champagne bottle and your champagne flutes or whatever you would like to put in there. And back here you have a DVD player for the entertainment center. So not only can you hook up something else, but you can also run a DVD through there. Down below the climate controls, you do have your cigar lighter and ashtray. And then if we come down here, you got the beautiful Maybach written right in the wood trim. And then this part right here pulls down to reveal your cup holders, your key storage, and then a 12 volt outlet right here. Okay. Coming down here, we have the sort of the traditional rolling scrolling wheel right here. And then it acts like a mouse. You can go left, right, up, down. You can also use this one if you want. Okay, down here are shortcuts. So if you want to just like turn on your massaging seats, uh, or do something with them, you can just hit that button and it goes right to the seat seat on the infotainment screen. Okay. Down here are shortcuts just for your, for different functions of your nav screen. So you've got navigation, which you can click. You've got radio, which you can go to. You have got your hazards in the middle and then you've got just the media button and you have got your telephone and then you have um, just your vehicle settings, which you can then scroll through. So all little shortcuts to get to these screens without having to go through the infotainment screen. Okay, right below those, you do have, these buttons uh, right in here all control the infotainment screen. So you've got your home button to bring you back to the home screen. And then you also have a back button on the other side to go back one step. Okay, up here, again with the infotainment screen, you can use this as a trackpad or you have a home button. You have a like a fast forward button or skip and then a back button. On the side, on the left up here, you've got auto start stop, which you can disable if you want. All right, this next button is the dynamic driving mode selector. So if we look at the driver's information screen and if you push down or up, you'll get, so we have eco, comfort, sport, and individual. Okay, now this car does have a button which raises the suspension, and that's this one right here. Okay, down below that little hard to see is your uh, cameras. So if I turn them on, on my infotainment screen, you get a picture of your camera. So right here, if I go down, I get my front wide view my front narrow view, but then I get a 360 on this side. I get my side view, I get my wide rear view, and then my narrow rear view, where I get, again get this nice 360 in the area around it. Which I think is just a huge, I, I really think that should be a safety feature on cars. All right, now 
We're moving over to the right hand side here. You do have a power button for your infotainment screen, another volume button separate from the steering wheel one. And then this one controls the headrest in the rear of the car. Now, not only can you lower them, but you can also raise the headrest in the rear. Finally, your parking sensor button right here, which you can turn on or off.